Hey, Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can repurpose some of your video content using the app Descript and their AI Underlord features. So I'm here inside one of my projects. Uh, it was a video I did on how to record PowerPoint video with AI voiceover. And once you've done all your editing, caption, studio sound, whatever it is that you need to do, and you've published it, you can go in on the right to their thing called Underlord. So I can toggle that open and closed. And if you scroll down, there's a section on repurposing with clips, but also in publishing, you can do things like summarize it, get show notes, which is great for a podcast, a YouTube description. So when you're ready to upload it to YouTube, that's one thing I'm going to show you, and also drafting a social post and a blog post. Let me show you first the YouTube description. So if I click on that, you can put an example. So in this case, I put an example of another YouTube description I have on how to record and edit course videos with Descript. So you might want to watch that if you're not familiar with Descript. I put that in as an example so that it knows the kind of flow and tone I want. And then custom instructions, I said specifically what kind of call to action I want, specifically around using PLR to create your videos, your course videos. And then I would just click submit and it will go through. It says it's thinking, it'll come up with something, and then you can copy and paste this. It's followed the same flow as my other one, the example I got. And it's given timestamps, which is really useful for people on YouTube to be able to find different things. And then you can copy that, edit it a bit, and head over to YouTube once you've uploaded it. And I'll show you what that looks like on YouTube. Here I'm over on YouTube. I've uploaded that particular video. And I took that description that Descript did for me, and I just edited it a bit. So I put in some of the steps. I don't have the timestamps in here but I did use them when I sent out an email so that people could see where to look. I would probably go back, and maybe add those timestamps because I didn't do it at the time. Let me show you how you can also use Descript to create a blog post because I wanted to just get this out there quickly. So I published it and sent it to my email list, but then people want to see that in text as well. So I created a blog post. Let me show you what that looks like on one of the other videos that I did in Descript. Let's go into the one on the guide to Descript because that in particular you would want as a blog post as well. So again, I've done all my edits on that. And if you watch this video and look at the blog post, you'll get more information. And I then go into Underlord again and scroll down to the publishing. And this time, rather than a YouTube description, I'm gonna draft a blog post. Now it preloads whatever I used last. In this case, I put an example of another blog post that I'd written, edited, already had my voice and tone and already had the kind of layout I wanted. And it happened to be that one on recording voiceovers. I took all of that blog post text and I pasted it into the example. AI always works best when it has examples if you want output that sounds like you. And then I also gave it custom instructions again. In this case, I wanted numbered steps and bullet points to the instructions. I wanted it to note places where I should insert screenshots. This was really helpful for getting ideas for visuals and screenshots that I could take from the video itself, which is really helpful for people when they're reading versus watching the video. And I asked it to add an introduction, talking about the challenges of creating online course videos, add a conclusion, talking about how you can use slideshows in the private label rights courses from Content Sparks to create your videos. And then I just clicked submit. Thinks about it, immediately drafted a blog post. Now, as usual, you're not going to use it as is. But because I gave it an example of a flow and the style and tone that I wanted of something else, comparing it to something I already am happy with, it laid it out the same way and it took the information from the video and included that inserting screenshots, where to put that, all the different steps 
you have to go through, check it all, do any editing, because it's not going to be precise, especially as in a video like this, I may have an outline that I'm following, but sometimes I have to go back and correct myself. And in the blog post itself, I want it to be exact. And here is what that particular post looks like. So I copy things into a Word document or Google Doc, text, whatever it is you want to use edited it there first, and then loaded that into my blog post. I, I use Thrive Themes and Thrive Architect to lay things out that you can see. There's a place for the video. It gave me the steps. So I just use some of the formatting features in my Thrive Themes, Thrive Architect plugin to lay it out. And I took the screenshot. This is something actually my assistant helped me with. So I was able to do the video generate the blog posts, write that up, doing editing, and then give it to her with notes on the screenshots so she could go into the video, take the screenshots that needed to go in there and do all the formatting and layout and stuff, including adding in some calls to action for signing up for my email list to get deals and tips and a coupon off the first online course. So that is how you use Descript to draft blog posts, YouTube descriptions, then you can play with some of the other features in there, like finding clips to do shorts, doing a summary. If you have course videos, that's really helpful because then you can get a summary of each video to put onto your course platform or even some of these social media posts for sharing them. Hope that was really helpful. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Take care.